now that we have enough of knowledge about regression analysis let's constitute everything that we have learned before and apply that on linear regression linear regression is a statistical regression method which is used for predictive analysis quite the same thing we are just gonna do the same thing that is making out a best fitting predicting line that will help us predict the future trends or it will just help out with interpolation it is one of the very high very simple very easy algorithm which works on regression and shows the relationship between continuous variable so it works on the principle of again the regression analysis and it is used for finding out the relationship between various continuous uh, variables linear regression shows the linear relationship between the independent variable and the dependent variable so if you could just recall one of the graphs that we have looked before the year of experience with the salary so if we have one two three four five and let's say the salary is again 100 rupees 200 300 so it, it is very hypothetical so just don't go after me for this so if you have one year of experience you will be having 100 rupees if you are having uh, two years of you will be having somewhere 150 rupees for three you will be having 200 for four similarly you will be having something five you will be having something so we are what we are doing over here is we are finding out that relationship between the dependent variable and the independent variable so this is the independent variable and this is the dependent variable or the target variable here we have the predictors now what are the different applications of linear regression following up the bottom-up approach so let's look into the application of it uh, linear regression analyzing trends and sales estimates salary forecasting real estate prediction arriving at ETA in the traffic if all of these are not making much sense let me give you some of more examples like salary prediction uh, let's take an example if you are an HR if you are an HR and you have been given a task of recruiting someone and that particular person so this is a person this person tells that he has two years of experience and what you have right now in the company is you have people five people you have five people uh, one is of one year experience another one is of four years another one is of 10 years another one is of three years and one more is of seven years so we have the points over here this is the year of experience and the salary of it for three we have four we have some place seven we have ten we have so if we plot and straight line over here so we can say whatever for two will be so for two we can say the amount of salary this uh, this new person with two years of experience should be getting that's what uh, hr might do in terms of linear regression there are more and more examples you can also find out the height the weight uh, then you can predict out price prediction of a house so if we have the square feet of a house let's take one more graph this is the square feet square feet of house and over here we have cost again there is a linear regression linear relationship between these two so if the square if it is of one square feet the cost will be somewhere between thousand two square feet the cost will be around three thousand similarly we can have something of a trend so that's about the application of linear regression now what are the different types of linear regression linear regression shows the linear relationship between the independent variable and the dependent variable hence it's called the linear regression again the same graph so here's the independent and here we have the dependent now we have two types over here that is simple linear regression and multiple linear regression we are going to go through both of these algorithms the math behind them is quite the same thing with a bit of difference in between here and there but 
the meaning behind is, is quite the same thing. In simple linear regression, we only have one variable. What I mean by this is, uh, let's recall the previous example of, again, years of experience with salary. So we have years of EXP and salary. Okay, so this is Y, this is X. Over here, we have only one predictor. That is the year of experience. So if you could just view this in a form of CSV file. So these are two columns. This is the feature column. That is the columns. And here are different rows okay, of some values. Let's say one, we have 1,000, two, we have 5,000, three, we might have 9,000. Okay, so these are the features. And these are the rows or data points. Now, what does simple linear regression means is it will be having only one input variable or one column that is one feature, one predictor. One predictor. And in multiple linear regression, we have multiple predictors. Multiple predictors. This was an example of simple linear where we have only year of experience. Now let's look into one more example, the house prediction problem. Cost, house cost. And over here we might be having square feet of house, then number of bathrooms, number of bathrooms. All of these uh, then we might have one more value, some x, y, z values. Now all these are the predictors, that is the x value and h cost is again the y value. So we have multiple variables over here which help us predict y. So we have various features or various columns that will help us to predict the target variable that is that is h cost. So that's all about simple linear regression and multiple linear regression. From our next video onwards, we are going to jump directly into simple linear regression and we are going to look into a bit of maths behind it.